United have announced that centre-back Rafael Verane will leave the club at the end of this season when his contract expires. The defender joined the club on a three-year deal in August 2021 and it has been confirmed that it will not be extended. United tracking three players amid Rafael Verane exit as defensive rebuild begins United have put plans in place to sign two centre-backs in this summer's transfer window. There is set to be a change to the landscape of United's centre-back pool and it has been announced that Rafael Verane will leave the club. At the end of the campaign when his contract expires, Everton's Jared Branthwaite, Gleisen Bremer of Juventus and Bayer Leverkusen's Edmund Tapsoba are all understood to be on United's. Radar.10 Hag hails Fernandez amid Bayern interest amid Bayern Munich's interest in Bruno Fernandez. United manager Eric Ten Hag, speaking this lunchtime, described the Portuguese international as a very important player. Bayern are understood to be interested in the prospect of signing the United captain this summer, as are Inter Milan. Fernandez is believed to be receptive to leaving the club amid the possibility of missing out on European qualification. Point Ten Hag told the media, it's the same question as last week. So I answered. The same answer. Now in all the years he was, he was a tremendously important player for Manchester United and creating the most chances across the Premier League. So many assists, so many goals. It's clear he's a very important player for us. United players fear Fernandez will leave amid Bayern interest members of United squad are fearful that Bruno Fernandez could leave Old Trafford this summer amid Bayern Munich's interest in the midfielder. The red skipper is understood to be receptive to leaving the club amid the possibility they could fail to qualify for European competition for the first time in a decade. Inter Milan, along with Bayern, are also interested in his signature Premier League is. Dumfries preferred destination amid United links according to a report by Italian publication La Gazzetta dello Sport. Inter Milan right-back Denzel Dumfries would prefer to move to the Premier League this summer amid reports linking United with his signature. The Netherlands International has been linked with a move to Old Trafford at various stages in the last couple of years and it is looking increasingly likely that he will leave Inter this summer. Aston Villa, earlier this week, were also credited with interest in the attack-minded fullback. Southgate words are music to United ears as Ratcliffe's radical change is coming. Eric Ten Hag's last game at Old Trafford could be on Wednesday night and the debate about who should replace him has only intensified among fans over the last few weeks. There was a surge in momentum behind a potential appointment of Gareth Southgate in March and the bookmakers made him the favorite for the United job. The reports claiming Southgate had Become the front-runner to replace Ten Hag didn't go down well with supporters, who rightly suggested he's underqualified for the role. Southgate has been the most successful England manager since Sir Alf Ramsey, but his previous experience of club management saw Middlesbrough relegated from the Premier League. Denmark boss not worried about United duo Denmark head coach Kasper Jolmund has admitted he is not worried about Christian Eriksen's and Rasmus Hodgland's respective situations at United ahead of the European Championship. Denmark will begin their European Championship campaign on June 16, facing Slovenia. Both Eriksen and Hodgland are expected to be named in their squad for the tournament in Germany. Despite a recent increase in minutes, Eriksen has not played as often as he would have liked this season. Hodgland, meanwhile, has struggled for goals in recent weeks. Despite those two factors, Jolmond is not concerned, telling Extra Bladet, I'm not that worried. I am very happy that Christian has been playing a few minutes lately.
it is extremely difficult to shine in a team that struggles to make the connection work. We know in this world that things can quickly go either way. I am happy happy that they are both in a good condition. So in that way I'm not too worried about those. 2. Bayern looking at Fernandez according to a report by the Independent, Bayern Munich are looking at the prospect of signing United captain Bruno Fernandez in this summer's transfer window. Fernandez has been linked with an exit from Old Trafford in recent weeks and recently admitted he will not make a decision on his future until after this summer's European Championship campaign with Portugal. The report states Bayern believe they can sign Fernandez because of increasing frustration at United. It adds that United's hierarchy would be willing to do a deal because of the need to sell players in the coming months. Point 10 Hag issues encouraging Martinez update. United manager Eric Ten Hag has said defender Lisandro Martinez is set to be included in the matchday squad for tomorrow night's clash with Newcastle United. Martinez has experienced a season to forget on the injury front, being limited to just 11 appearances in all competitions. He last featured against Brentford on March. 30. Speaking at this lunchtime's press conference, Ten Hag said, Licha Martinez, I think he will return to the squad. He's done some sessions with us and we plan for him to be available if this afternoon everything goes right in training. He will return to the squad. Atletico leading Greenwood Race Atletico Madrid are leading the race to sign United forward Mason Greenwood ahead of this summer's transfer window, according to a report by Team Talk. Greenwood has spent this season on loan at Spanish side Hetafe. He has scored 10 goals in 33 matches. Hetafe want to keep hold of Greenwood, but it is understood they want to re-sign him on loan, whereas other suitors are interested in a permanent deal. Atletico have been heavily linked with him in recent weeks, as have Juventus. Opinion. United's decision countdown has to end on one of two days. Eric Ten Hag's only win in five encounters with Wednesday night's opponents, Newcastle, was in the League Cup final. Brighton have won all three. League meetings with Ten Hag's United, who required a penalty shootout to overcome them in last season's FA Cup semi-final. City did the domestic double over United this term and won two of the three derbies in 2022-23. United will have to be sensitive about the timing of their decision. Whether Ten Hag trudges up the steps for a silver medal or brings the FA Cup into the Wembley press room, some breathing space is required. It is not always...